Gabs of from Party Engage Road. Here you're on the Juice 2.0. We have a very, very special guest in the building. Yep, this one is the world of the TikTok. You have now entered the world of the f- famous TikTokers. In B-Dub, in one of his good days, the rest of the world, you know him from his captivating live Thursday live sessions on his Instagram. He's an entertainer of note. He's a digital creator. And so much more. His name is Bakes, Bakes, Bakes. What's happening? <laughs> the greatest shoes of my life. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's, what's up? What's going on, man? I'm good. Dude, it's just like, I'm, I'm I'm loud, but you, you're loud. Why are you? <laughs> you leave my secrets. <laughs> like, like, everybody knows. Everybody knows, like, from the TikToks and yeah. the, the Instagram. How you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm tired. I was at Groove, oh, yeah. but I made it up for your interview, dude. I was, I was going to be mad if you didn't make it to my interview, I bro. I was. I will never do that to you. Yeah, I, I, th- never do I, that thought, to you. I thought if you show up this morning, right? Because yeah. I knew you were a Groove. You're ah, such a you, group. You such, weekends are just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in my mind, I was like, if Bake shows up to my show, then that's some integrity right there. Yeah, but let me tell you. Yeah. You know what happened? I wasn't even drinking that much. Uh-huh. I was having water most of the time. Really? And then I left mid group like around two. Because yeah. I was just like, you know what? Let me show up with pop and skid in the morning <laughs> for TK and the juice two point That's right. Yeah. And you're here. Yeah. I appreciate you so much for your time. You're you're all of these things that I've already mentioned, right? Yeah. But just break it down for us. Who is Bakes? Where did you grow up from? Okay. Where did you go for school? Your primary, your uh-huh. high school? I want to know a little bit of that about you. Okay. And this is something that I always share. Yeah. Um, I come from a village called Ikhawana. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the south. Um, I was born in Lobate. Did some of my schooling in Lobate and in Ikhawana, in the uh, village. Nice. And then um, I did my senior school in St. Joseph's College. In oh. Gaps. Yes. Like those long dresses yeah. that cover the knees. Yeah. yeah. And then I went to the University of Botswana. Um, oh, dope. Yeah. You're a big kid. Yes. Basco. Basco. Yes. So I went to University of Botswana and yeah. um, I, I always like to throw this one in. I did an exchange program in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> I like to throw the it in. must know, control. man. <laughs> yeah, so I, I grew up in Dihawana and yeah. in Lubadze, partly, and in Gabs. So I've uh. been a little bit around uh, all these three places. And um, what else do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> all of that. That was that was enough, but okay. I appreciate that. All so right. how does it how does it feel and what is the kind of experience that you have growing up in the places that you uh-huh. grew up in? Yeah, is it you fun? Know, is it like Dihana uh, is a village? Yeah. There's no fun in the village. Dihana <laughs> is a village, and I'm a city boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a city yeah. boy. Isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Right. Um, you know something about the village? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, something about the village is that the village humbles you because ah. it's a small community. Everybody knows everyone. Right, right. And you know, there's like a lot of uh, traditional practices yes. that you would not normally see in the city. Of course. Uh, but you will get like, you know, bits and traces of it in the village. So ah. it humbled me in that regard, you know, because it was such a, a small community. Yeah. And obviously the city inspired me to, you know, to want to do Things with lights and, you know, just <laughs> everything what I'm doing now. I like that. So basically. it's a bit of a, the, what is this? The best of both worlds. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. I like yeah, that. And then exactly at, what at Basco, what were you studying at Basco? I studied uh, a BA in media studies. No um, wonder. Studied, yeah, no I'm a qualified wonder. media practitioner. No wonder. Yeah, I was doing communication, yeah. English communication and PR. In media, those are my majors, but obviously, there's like other things like film production, yes, yes, yeah. I did theater as well as one of my minors, yeah. So, I, I did uh, a BA in media studies. So, Dude. everything that you're seeing now is not by accident, it's yeah. just that it wasn't planned to yeah. happen this way. It's crazy yeah. because then everybody that must see you now creating the content that we so love, right? Mm-hmm. Must think maybe you just woke up and you thought, you know, let me just do this, press play on a camera, press record rather on a yeah. camera. But there's a background to that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, 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 there is a background to that. Yeah. But I just want to put in perspective that yeah. everything that I'm doing now, like the social media stuff, in all honesty, it fell on my lap. Like, uh, for the longest time I've been on social media, but my, yeah. my accounts were private. I never ah. really wanted people to like, you know, get beyond yeah. what they see on social media. Right. But um, I think with COVID, it kind of inspired like a new wave of 
wanting to do things differently, yeah. you know, in the media fraternity for me. Um, so I, I would say that uh, the social media influence and stuff, even though I studied media and yeah. it's the backbone of everything that I'm doing, like the, I understand like the principles and like the foundations of how to conduct like, um, you know, like a media interview or ah, how to do all these things. Right. But the social media influence and stuff, it really just fell on my lap. And it was just like, Right time, uh, right, like everything just like kind of gelled well with the time when it uh, started to pick. I like that. I like yeah. that. So thanks to COVID. <laughs> yes. yes. And thanks and, to COVID. Yeah. And that's the thing. The thing is, um, you know, with COVID, a lot of us, we went through transitions. You dude, know what I mean? Dude. Yeah. It, it, was, it was traumatic. It was, it's a, it's a, it was a traumatic time. I don't know whether to talk about it in the past tense or present because we're still experiencing it. A little but bit of know, it, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was severe when it started. So I would say that it came with a lot of um, a lot of experiences for different people. It was yes. traumatic for some people. Yeah. Uh, I had my fair share of like pain and uh, just trauma during COVID. Yeah. And uh, it also came with a lot of opportunities. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. I am one of the people who actually gained um, opportunities from the COVID era. All right. Yeah. What happened? What happened is that I started Ooh. to pop on TikTok, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I started to pop on TikTok. You and really did. It catapulted me into what I'm doing, oh, the things that I'm doing now. Dude, so when I, I, when I say we have now entered the world of the TikTok famous, right? I wasn't joking about that. Yeah. It's crazy because yeah. your posts, your post, they they hit up like 22K likes, if not more. What's, you, your, what's your most? Yo, I have to say this. Please say that. I hit 1.2 million like a couple of weeks ago. You, you know, the, For what you, video? One video. It, it's such a stupid video, but I love it because it's what like, <laughs> it plays me like it really put me on like the South African map in terms of like oh, TikTok. Yeah. Because I saw like a lot of um, South African uh, TikTokers yeah. reposting it. Yeah. Even, you know, ba ba bum bum Ah, oh, that bum bum, bum. bum. Yes. <laughs> That's at 1.2 million. <laughs> so it kind of, it, like, I've made videos where I put in an effort. Like, I have a ring light. I have this. I'm looking good. And I'm like, this should get me a million views. And the video that I make that gets a million views, I'm just in the car humming a song. And it actually, the song blew up. Like, it did. Yeah. It is. It's Paka, of, Paka di Lame, right? Yes, yes. Yes. And a lot of people sometimes, well, most of the time when they meet me, they're like, I can never listen to that song without doing the babam. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> and the artist got wind of it. She started remaking it as well. Wow. Yeah, the manager also knows about it. And yeah, it's it's so exciting. It's so exciting. So my highest viewed video on TikTok. 1.2 million. Milli, milli baby. 1.2 milli baby. You're on the Juice 2.0 <laughs> and we're getting juicy with Bakes, yeah. Bakes, Bakes. Talk to us on one. A dope music is it not bakes oh my god yo by the way tk you forgot to mention the main artist of the song who is that nom fundo mo why would i do that you, you mentioned shasha and amifaku i blame and you and they're featured i blame you why the vibe in the studio man <laughs> all that dancing in the studio yeah. <laughs> yeah that was lit that was lit. nom fundo is the main artist and all yeah. those two are featured and shasha yes. is my home girl ah. all the way from zim mutare yeah. Mutare, that's crazy. We're back with more bakes, bakes, bakes. Kanto, what are you baking, Weno? Baking. I, 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 for somebody whose name is Baker, that's the one thing that I can't do. I can cook. Yeah. I can throw it down in the kitchen. Can you? The one, th oh. You can cook. I, I'm a foodies Botswana superstar. Dude, what do you, what's your best dish? I love, I love, I love my favorite food to eat. Yeah. Like traditional Sichuan food. I love nice. Bona, Bona, Bona. Yes, sir. Bona, Bona. Bona, Bona. 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 But that, 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 that's my stuff. That's your dude. Yeah. But now, now I, I, I'm good with like um your, what I say, like your healthiest side of things. Ah. Yeah. And there's like a story behind that. I like that. But, but, but um I enjoy the Jesus So much, so China. much more to you, man. Uh, you're triple three. You're a digital creator. I want to talk about this. Okay. This TikTok, right? Okay. So many views. A lot of people love you. I personally love your videos. So many of them that we can talk about. Yeah. But we'll pick up specific ones. The first question is, and this is the question that everybody else wants to know. Yeah. Who is looking up to Bakes and like, you know what? This dude is amazing. He's getting all these views. I would like these many views too. Yeah. But do I get paid for it? On TikTok, no. So you're not getting paid? No. Okay. But there's tricks to this thing of course i don't know if maybe you're gonna ask me a question about how i am monetizing of my content please uh, so i can go yeah, on please okay. go on all right so this is what happened when once i started to gain 
TikTok popularity. Like this is when I started to make the videos that I make, uh-huh. and you know they were resonating with a lot of people. People loved them. You know there were people. There was like a tribe of people that gravitated towards them. Yeah. And when I saw that popularity, I knew that because it, we're in Botswana and you can't really monetize yeah. off of your TikTok content. I knew that I had to branch out into another platform where it would be easier to monetize. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But it's a pretty much manual. You right, know what I mean? Right, like, right. So I took the TikTok popularity and then I. Took it to Instagram to say that yeah. on Instagram that's where creators are popping you know even in Botswana right, right. Uh, you, uh, when you have a, a, a strategy of what you want to do mm-hmm. and know what you want to do and how you want to do it uh, you can monetize off of Instagram uh, and you can just be leveraging off of the popularity or whatever it is that you're doing right, right. you know what I mean so I took the TikTok popularity to Instagram and now I've created um, things on, on Instagram that give me money here and there. It's not a lot of money. Please don't check my car. It's I think, not a lot of money. I think, you know what? It's what? It's four of us in the studio this morning. Breakfast on you after this? Yeah. No! Ah! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I understand and I appreciate I appreciate how you took TikTok, uh your viewers, your fans. Are there fans? What do you what do you call your fans? Uh there's Beehive, there's Beehive. And then Ditsala. Ditsala. Yes. That's it. Yeah, but but that's a very common um would I say uh, You should come noun. up with something else, man. Yeah, I something think something bakes in I, it. Yes, I don't know, you know what, what I mean? to say it yeah. because I I have to give a shout out to all the people that I meet. Yeah. Last night like guys, this is not like a bragging thing, yeah. but when I get to places these days there are people who are like screaming and like asking to take pictures and stuff like that and I never thought that it would get to that. I thought I'm just making silly videos in the car or wherever and life goes on everybody minds their own business. Yeah, yeah. But it's like there's like a fan base, a fan base, fan base. You know what? I to was... a point where my, my friends don't even want to go out with me because they're just like, can I go out for the entire night? <laughs> so I just want to give a shout out to like all the people that I see and they show me love. They tell me like stories. You know, they, they, they would say, you know, when you made this video, I was going through this. And, yeah, you know, it, yeah. it, it really made me happy to hear you talk about something like that or whatever. So it's, it's great. So shout out to them. And I think, I think. More more than when you create the actual content, you're having fun. Exactly. You're not, you're not necessarily thinking about the next no. person who's going to see it no, and, how, no, and how it no, makes them feel. No, yeah? no, not at all. And I think that's why, you know, people gravitate towards it yeah, and yeah. hold it so dear and so yeah. close. Yeah. Because they can almost relate with like the energy that is flowing at that time. Authenticity as well. Exactly. And I don't plan these things. Like, honest to God, I don't get in the car and I'm like, I have to create content. I have to make a video for TikTok. If I'm, you know, going towards a traffic light and a song that's popping comes on on my playlist, I just put my phone up and I just start to vibe. And then the rest is history. Yes, yes. I like that. You know what? I can, I can, Bakes, I can relate to your earlier point when you say when you're out there, everybody is, you know, trying, trying to take pictures and all of that. Yeah. They appreciate your content. They're fans. Yeah. I can relate because I also am on TikTok. I wasn't mm-hmm. going to say this, right? I'm also on TikTok with my girl. Yeah. So every time we're out there, man, together yeah. in the shops, yeah. people can step out and be like, oh my God, you guys, oh my God, you guys, oh my God, you guys. And at some point you can tell they're talking about like waitresses, shop, yeah, shop yeah. attendants. They're yeah. looking at you and you, you can tell that they're talking about you. So I can really relate. But the question is, how does fame feel like? How Yo. does, do you love fame? Do you like fame? How do you feel about fame? I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it can be stressful, dude. It can be. Because, because like I told you earlier, like um, for a large part of my young adult life, yeah. my social media pages were lost. private, yeah. They were private. And I was living my life privately. Nobody knew where I live, what I do, blah, yes. blah, blah, blah. Yes. You know what I mean? And these days I could literally show up in like a hat, a mask, and like sunglasses and I would hear somebody go bakes, bakes, bakes it's, it can be a li- it can make me anxious sometimes yeah. you know because I'm a real person you right, know what I mean right, I right. want to go down the street and buy my fresh in peace ah. but then you have somebody who wants to take a picture there <laughs> it's just like yes. maybe if we were at Groove yeah, you know yeah. it would make sense to take like a nice picture because obviously when I go to Groove I, right. I'm popping like the drip is on overflow <laughs> So, so sometimes it can be a little much yeah. invasion, so to speak. But on the other side? On the other side, it's nice when I get to a hotel, they're like, we will upgrade you to a presidential suite. 
We are on the TV. Yes. Yeah. So it's it, it has its its ups and downs. Ups and downs. Um, is it pros and cons? pros and cons? Yeah. Yes, it has its pros and cons. So and then I, I, and I enjoy uh, uh, the the pros obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I and I think you know one of those people that because of that new fact of your fame. You're consciously trying to put on a t-shirt that you wouldn't have put on had that fame was not there. Had that had that fame not been there. Like you're getting out of the house, you're like, you know what? The ordinary bakes would have put on this t-shirt. Yeah. But because I know someone is going to recognize me, <laughs> let me rather put on this no, t-shirt. No, no, TK. I don't do that. You're not that kind like of person. Like, it's easy. If I want to go to chicken... Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. To say no friend, advertisement. <laughs> I come out now. I come out fresh down the street and I, I, I have on like maybe like comfortable track pants yeah. and like a loose fit and t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm more than that. I'm like, I want to come out fresh. Because, you know, the, the downside side to fame is that sometimes we create um, you know these uh, realities of exclusivity and uh, unapproachable and this and that but I just want to live my life you know what I mean yeah. it's nice to enjoy the perks of fame yeah. but at the same time I don't want to create a life that I can't sustain you know what I mean so I, I, I just go on about my business however I want to <laughs> if I want to go to Goti wherever yeah. to, for groove yeah. I will go there so I, I I don't try to I don't you know um, overly prescribe yes. like the things that I do yes. to keep a certain kind of brand. My brand is what you see. And I like what you that, get. and I like yeah. that, and that's the most comfortable life to to exactly. live anyway. Exactly, dude. Dude, what is this beef that I hear uh, between you and Freddie? Freddie Pro. Pro. What's I going went on? to meta Freddie Pro. <laughs> <What's it? laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love Freddie. I love Freddie. Yeah. I, 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 you know, Lena, that was a joke, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but I love, I love Freddie. I'm always dying at his content. And yeah. a little secret, he actually grew up or part grew up in the village that I grew up in. Oh. Yeah. So he's, he's, the, he's my home person. Yeah. So you guys are not beefing. You guys are not We're beef beefing because he's trying to steal ATI away from me. And then I saw, what is that? I saw a TikTok video of you giving ATI some food. Yeah, you were. What is it called? No, that's not the English. You were feeding. You're feeding ATI. Yes, yes. yes. And sad. then Freddie was mad at that. Where did the beef come from? Well, I I, I been no ATI, <laughs> and Freddie just uh, is trying to steal ATI new, away from me. New kid on the block. Yes, with fresh new energy, fresh new vibe. He's just like ATI up to me. <laughs> I've, I've I've been I've been such a fan of ATI since yeah. high school. We went yeah. to the same senior school. He went to St. Joseph's College. Yeah, yeah. ATI na na like every single day. <laughs> but he's one of the most down to earth, yeah. most relatable, most humble people. True story. And a creative genius. He, that guy is talented. So I've been a fan of ATI since like um, high school. Yeah. And I've always been a fan. Um, there, there's a time when we were at Premier and I was with my friend Charity. And right. ATI came in, he comes in with the energy, double bakes, bakes, bakes. He's like, hey, bakes, what is that? Here? And I'm like, come. Like, who ah. So we shared a place. It's not like we were on a date. Right, right. Yeah, but I knew that that would be the narrative. Course, and I was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go if that's going to be the content, narrative. Let's content, content. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Because sometimes you have to have fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I love ATI. And uh, I guess Freddie also loves ATI. He really so, does. And yeah. there were rumors that they were together at some point. And oh when God. he was on the show, he's like, nah, you know what, TK, forget those rumors, man. Yeah. I'm just a really, really <laughs> big fan. So no one is ever really going to know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, I love him. I love ATI. I, I support his music. Yeah. I'm going to be going to his show soon. Dope. Yes. Well, that's next yeah. week, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, 8.39 yeah. is your time. You're on the Juice 2.0. You just got lucky if you just tuned in because Bakes, Bakes, Bakes is here. After this, we're back with more of him. Gabs of Party Engage Road is where you at. Good looking out for tuning in wherever you are. So I should say good morning to you in Gab City. What's going on? And good morning to you in B-Dub, wherever you are in the beautiful blue, black and white. What's going on? And good morning going out to you who is in Africa and listening to me all the way from Mozambique, Kenya, Tanzania. How you doing? And then finally, the rest of the world, wherever you are, appreciate you for coming on to get your edition of the Juice 2.0. We do this every Saturdays and Sundays, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the last hour on the Juice 2.0 on a Saturday. Amazing people. And this dude is nothing short of all of that. Do you know you're amazing, dude? A charmer! <laughs> a charmer! <laughs> Sweep me off my feet, will I try, you? I try, I try. Is it working? Is it working? Oh my God, it's working. It's <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you're about to take off your don't don't take your jacket off. Yeah, I, I know it's getting it's, hot it's getting hot in, hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting kind of hot. <laughs> Eight forty-four your time, so we're back with more bakes, bakes, bakes. Text us, call us, and WhatsApp us. I have a few more questions before we go, right? Yeah. The more serious one before we get to the silly ones, okay. right? Okay. Because this is what we do on the Juice Two Point Oh. Your Thursday night live sessions. Uh huh. They're great, informative platform, bro. Thank you. Because the people that you bring there, they tell. The last time I. So a brother of mine, right? You always bring a lot of Alan Capito. Yeah. You, I almost said something. Oh. <laughs> You're with Alan Capito, a uh, good friend of mine, and you guys, you guys discussed uh, liquidation. Yes. The law around yes, that. Yes. 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 And funny thing, two three years ago, he was on the same show speaking about liquidation and all uh-huh. of that. On your show. On my show. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's an attorney, so he specif. Specific, uh, <laughs> the English bundles have the just replaced. <laughs> <laughs> but the question that I really wanted to ask Bakes is, yeah. what are you? What are you? What kind of people are you inviting to your platform, mm-hmm. and why these kind of people? Okay, I will give you a little bit of uh, context or background to Bakes Live, right? Okay. So it started during COVID because you would get on social media, and yes. this person's business will be closing down. Ah. This one will be getting laid off or from work. Yes. And um, you know, through my TikTok popularity, I was just like, let me do something a little worthwhile, something uh-huh. that could benefit somebody else, because some of these small businesses, like the SMMEs, they don't have like the the budgets to go and market that products or services yes. on like uh, bigger. Uh, platforms that have got a wider reach so I was just like people are always commenting we love your energy we love your vibe we love blah 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 we love we love we love we love and I was just like um, let me create something where people can actually get to enjoy the bakes 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 yeah. energy and bring in like uh, businesses people to come and talk about their businesses so that they could potentially reach like uh, a new clientele or a new market to sell their uh, products and services so it comes from the backbone of trying to spotlight on small businesses mm. but because uh, we're I would say we are in the aftermaths of COVID or we are post COVID now. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that time when the masks don't have the to, you masks, know, the masks fall off, right? Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for too, it. Because these handsome faces can't you know, be gotta get behind masks hey. forever. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, 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 I wanted to create that platform for businesses be- before. It was called Bakes Business Live because I wanted to talk about right. uh, people's businesses. Right, and I right, wanted to right. give uh, these small businesses a platform. And since we are uh, post-COVID now, mm-hmm. you know, social media is like entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have to keep it fresh. I have to keep it exciting. I have to keep it uh, rejuvenated. I have to be innovative to retain my audience yes. and try to tap into like new demographics or uh, a new audience. Right. And now it's just Bakes Live uh, because I wanted to create... Um, you know, or I wanted to have um, more things now. You know, um, now you will get to see me interviewing personalities. You know ah. what I mean? Uh, now you'll get to see me talking to, I've talked to um, Norma Goma, uh, yes. former, formerly Norma Gigaba. I've yes. talked to her. She's like a South African businesswoman. Yep. Uh, she's not based in Botswana, but it was interesting at the time to talk to her just to keep the content exciting for yeah. the people that watch Bakes Live uh, every Thursday. But now, to answer your question, yep. um, there are businesses that sometimes I spot and I'm interested in finding out more about yeah. and knowing my audience, I know that they would also get like nuggets of wisdom or nuggets of... From this person. From these persons. And right. then I would invite them to come to Bakes Live. Yes. But there are businesses that uh, we sell space to, segments to, uh-huh. um, that actually have to pay in order for me to sell that service. Ah, bigger companies. Of course. Bigger corporates. Course. Bigger you brands. Got, you got to get that back. Yeah, oh, of course. So yeah. so then with all this, how many people do you, in your imagination now have you brought on your platform? I've been since running started, bakes, yeah. I've, I've been running bakes live for a year now. Uh-huh. Um, on February fourteenth or thirteenth this year, it was turning one, and I've streamed forty-seven episodes. Forty-seven. Yeah, averaging about two guests per show or three guests per show Whoa. yeah per show like uh, three guests or two uh people per show i don't know the math to say three <laughs> times 47 <laughs> yeah but uh somewhere there it's been 47 episodes that's a lot last, of people uh, uh, la- this past thursday it was like episode 47 of bakes live so now i'm not too sure if you're not if you're gonna be able to answer this question okay. of all these people that you're not yeah. able to multiply right yeah 
who stood out and why? Ish, I have a, I have such a, a cliche answer to that question. Uh huh. Everyone that I bring on has got a story to tell, and you would uh, appreciate the fact that we yes. are all just trying to make it in this life. Right, right. You know right. what I mean. And I get inspired by the fact that there will be somebody who would say get a kisam caps mm-hmm. that are made of like bamboo cotton. You know what right, I mean? Right, it's right. Interesting. Right. It's different. And this person is just trying to get a bag. And um, you know, make their way through life. Yes. And then I would get somebody who's like a doctor to come and talk to us about skincare. Mm. This person is offering something that we do every day. Yes. So it's inspiring to like listen to all these people. And um, this is not part of the question that you asked, but uh-huh. uh, what 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 really impacts my life? Yeah. Is the feedback that I get from people who say. After I was on your show, I got five customers. This happened. Yeah, I got five customers, or I got five inquiries, or I'm going to be doing this, or I'm going to be doing. Yeah, so that that for me, like, it's the impact that I I, I wanted this thing yeah. to have. Yeah. So the reason why I keep doing it is because of feedback like that, and it's consistent. Like I always get it. I like that. Yeah. Bakes, never have I ever hooked up with a fan. Oh, he just got juicier now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, okay. I have to think about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not that messy, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah? I'm, I'm not that messy. I don't think so. So what, you, what are you calling me? I'm messy? Okay, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just turned from trauma to messy. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Never. I don't think so. Never. All right. Never have I ever sent nude selfies. Never. Yo, I almost, I almost, nude selfie, kiss I can lip on never, never. If you see my body, it's not nice, guys. No, I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very conservative and very shy in reality. Like, if you got to know That's me. That's actually true. Yeah, That's actually I'm very true. shy and very conservative. Do you remember the other time we were sitting at a restaurant in CBD, right? Yeah. And we are having lunch. Yeah. I, remember. I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> so is this you? <laughs> I get that a lot. Like people see me, but the thing is, it's crazy when you're at the mall and people see you and they're like, ah, they "Where's expect, your energy?" They and I'm like, that. "Security will throw me out with big, big energy." They will throw me out. You'll see that present at Groove <laughs> yeah. or on TikTok or on TikTok. Never yes. have I ever made out with someone of the same sex. I have. You have? Yes. Ooh, tell us where it ended. <laughs> no way. <laughs> But I have. Yeah? yeah. Did you like it? I kissed it. Mm. And I liked it. Of course I liked it. You liked it. Yeah. Never I ever Googled myself. No, I don't do that. No? No, I don't do that. Okay. You don't you're not curious? Find out maybe what's No, happy mobile journey we Google it. Why was that name? Why was that the result is a JC? I went to I went to Pitty Girl Lumat. Never. Ah, no, I haven't reached that level. Never have I ever sent a dirty text to the wrong person. I do that all the time. Oh, when I'm drunk, when you're I drunk, call my exes, tell them they ain't. And <laughs> <laughs> dirty text. I do that all the time. I'm such a flirt. Yeah, I'm such a flirt. Never have I ever shoplifted. No. Yay. Have you seen how big my behind is? <laughs> have fun with me, Dale. <laughs> Don't drop it! Don't drop it! Don't, don't drop it! No, I, I know, I know what not to play with. I cannot. Never, no. never have I ever gotten a piercing that I regret. Oh my god, I've been meaning to get a piercing on my nose. Oh yeah, but it looks like it's never gonna happen because I'm reaching grab past eighties now, <laughs> and I've always wanted a tattoo. Um, I, I wanted to get like a, a tat of my, uh, my late uncle Boigi's um uh, birth date. He passed on like in 2017. He lived in South Africa. I loved him to be. Yeah, yeah. I want. I've always wanted to like get uh, a tat of his uh, birth date, but I never progressed with it. Right, right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm unmarked. I don't have piercings. I don't have tattoos. All right, but yeah. how old are you? Do when you say you're reaching grandpa status? Woo! In this world of where we are, TikTok, Instagram, and everything, I'm a grandpa to these kids. <laughs> like they, they call me Malume Bakes on TikTok. <laughs> And I'm just like, guys, I literally just turned 30. Like, I turned 30 last year in September. 30. Yeah. Welcome I'm to the 31. Dirty 30, year. man. Yeah. I'm turning 32 next year. Ah. I'm like, yo. So you're 31. I'm 31 right now, yeah. Ah, okay. We're age mates. We, we really are. Oh, oh, I'm I a, thought I was younger. I'm a, What? Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Look at that popping melanin on oh, the black man. There we go. What? Ladies, are you seeing this? Beard gang. Are you seeing this? What? <laughs> Stop, I see what you did there. <laughs> Offense and then make him feel good. Yeah. yeah. Never have I ever blacked out from drinking alcohol. 
No, I don't. I know how to control myself. Is that right? Yeah. I know how to control myself, but I go all out. This is the thing about me. Yes. You said at the beginning of the interview, you said, I'm a groovist. I'm always a groovist. Yes, yes. But I'll tell you something. I only go out twice a month. Is that right? Yes. Two weeks. Nah, that's not true, babe. Two weeks in a month at TK. I'm in the house. I close the blinds. Nobody bothers me. I even go to the extent of even putting my phone on airplane mode so that nobody bothers me. So that I just really you know, reconnect with myself and just wow. clear my, you know, like detox uh, the social space and yeah. external energy. Yeah. You know? It works wonders for me. I like that. I'm doing that right now because uh, where's my phone? Who has my phone? Oh, yeah. So everyone is always... Why won't you buy a phone? Blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm like, guys, I'm You're actually detoxing I'm detoxing. The, yeah. Because I had these fancy ones, and when I when I did what I did to it, I just I just you know yeah. Let me take some time off. You know what I yeah. mean? So I can relate. One last question. All right. That I have for you. Ooh. Hey, hey but time though. Hmm. This one is called Who Would You Rather? Right. Okay. Who would you rather go on a vacation with, Samantha Mohwe or Mposibina? Oh my God! I've been on vacation with Samantha Mohwe. So you're biased. I will go with Impossible just to experience just to- her, and I love her so much, Shem. I met her. I was fan boying the entire time. <laughs> she was just like, "Chill, Bakes. I also love you." Oh yeah. And like yeah, and I'm just like, you have got no idea how much I love you. I always for you. Music, blah blah. I was. Ugh, it so was what did a mess. you? What did you go with Samantha? Uh, we went to we did like a campaign for like a local brand nice. and then we went to Maum for like a couple Beautiful. of days yeah she is the sweetest person she's that's been a queen to, right there yeah I love her and she's been inviting me to like work out with her and I'm just like oh she'll you kill me <laughs> who would you rather co-host one of your Thursday live sessions with co-host co-host okay right yeah Lungo Andre? Lungo Lungo I don't care who's coming next Lungo <laughs> okay, okay sorry go on <laughs> you me? Oh, yeah. There was a different name. There was, <laughs> there was a different name, but okay. yeah, Lungo or me. Or you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, be careful, Bakes. Yo, but the, the thing with Lungo and I, yo, 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 yo. Funny story. Funny. It's like fire. It's like, yay, yay, yay. The entire time. Funny story. We have fun. Funny story. When I was getting to know you for the yeah. first time, yeah. just you around, I, was I thought you were, have I told you this before? No, I get that a lot. I even made a video about it on TikTok. I thought you were. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's the energy thing yeah. or if we actually resemble each other in terms of fashion. You actually kind of like do. Expression. Really? Low key. Yeah, Low he, key. Call, he, he calls me Tweeny. And, you know, like I get, are you Lungo all the time? All the time. All the time. Yeah. So People maybe, maybe Lungo, you'd have a much more great time than... <laughs> no, because he's my friend and I've known him for, for a long time. He's my friend's so, friend. So, so me. So definitely you. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Good answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a producer of a movie, uh-huh. actually, look at me squeezing in. Who would you cast in your action movie? All right? Who would you rather act, cast in your action movie? Mm-hmm. Denzel Washington or Idris Elba? Idris. Idris. Yeah, he represents the new age. True. Denzel, Denzel is kind of on the way out. I should have put his son instead. Denzel's son. Okay. David David something Washington. Uh-huh. But yeah. Idris, I, I, I relate with him better. Yeah. Because he's like, you know, just getting into the scene when I am understanding these things. Who would you rather enjoy a picnic with? Marang or Kilebohile Mehan? Oh my God, I was in Marang last night. Woo! Groove. Yes, at Groove. <laughs> Her and I, we were vibing, we were matching socks, we were matching, matching, matching. So, we had such a nice time. So I would definitely go with Kili. Kili. Yeah. For your picnic. Yeah, for the picnic. All right. On She's the good flip, vibes as well. She really is yeah. a whole lot. On the yeah. flip side of this, we say goodbye. Just No, are we done? I know, right? No! <laughs>